So welcome to this video. In this video, we will make sure that our edit button works. So if you scroll down, you will see that we have an edit button here. We have to link it to our edit page. So what I will do is to actually do the linking, which um, we can do simply by just um, saying uh, companies and um, edit. And then we put the ID of this particular method I'll show you why I know uh, that the link should be like that so the ID of this method is actually inside this company so we'll look at the company we'll pick the company go to edit button and then inside it we'll have the company ID so the reason I know that this works is if you come back and go to your Laravel documentation under the controllers like I showed you before it gives you a list of resources that are available because we used resource when creating it from the command line so we can see that it did works like this oh we missed the the order so you have your main uh, controller then you have the ID then you have the edit so that's what I'm gonna do right here so I'll just come back and make sure that this works exactly as planned so we're just gonna put it here um, what is all this just this way and then this so now if somebody clicks on this it will try and go to companies edit all right so if we now go to companies controller and scroll down you will see the edit function here it is so all we need to do is to actually go to the database fetch the data we want to edit and then pass it into a page that contains the form for to be edited so since we've already done fetching of um, I, the company item from here, I'm just going to copy this. Let's copy exactly what we have here. I've copied it and then I'll paste it here. And to me, this sorts a problem. So basically, we are taking the ID that has been fetched. We're passing it into here. We're taking the ID that has been fetched. Then we're going to the database to fetch the company's details. Then we'll pass it into a page that we call a date. This page is resident in the resources. If you go to resources, go to views, you you will see the companies and there is an edit page. All right. So when somebody when the get request arrives here, it fetches the details and passes it passes it into the edit page. Now our own target is to actually go to that edit page, which is here, and uh, create a page where uh, there is a form that people can fill. And edit the the contents of the the company. So to for us to do that, um, we can type it out directly. We can copy an already existing HTML that we have inside one of our forms. Let me clean up this, uh, delete this. I'm actually looking for that um, company index. Remove this. Um, this is what I'm looking for. So we'll just open it here and take the contents. All right so the contents we can now modify the contents to suit what we want this is not the one i'm looking for shoulder blade so uh the one we just worked on in the recent videos so we'll just copy everything here because it looks like what we want so that we, the, the amount of work left for us in this empty page will be little so i'll just paste it here the reason i copied it is because it's, it already has some side menu and already has some content so what i'll do right now is uh, to actually delete everything here and insert a form all right so i'll delete the top jumbotron and uh, this is where i will insert a form all right so i'll delete this and make it 12. i'll just make this 12 and um, 12 and 12 then I'll copy it out because I don't want the forage loop copy it out and um, oh this even solves it so there is a 12 12 12 here there's a white background so this solves it so this is where we're gonna paste the form so I'm just gonna go online now look for a very nice bootstrap form and uh, paste here all right so let's go do it 